I'm Eric Lander. I'm the director of the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. And um, I had the pleasure of being one of the people who was uh, leading the Human Genome Project. Over the same period that the Genetic Alliance grew up, the Human Genome grew up too. It went from being an absolutely crazy idea to being something that might just vaguely be possible, to be something that could possibly get done, to something that was getting done, to something that was done, to something that now can be done again and again and again. And it's just breathtaking to see what can happen when a whole community comes together around a really ambitious idea and just turns it into reality. What's an innovator? It's somebody who looks at things that are certified to be impossible and says, well, why exactly? Wants to take things that seem outrageous and figure out how they might just be possible. And usually to do that, you have to be willing to you have to be willing to think in crazy ways. You have to be willing to throw overboard assumptions. The innovators are the people who say, well, incremental steps are good, but I live to make quantum steps. The next 25 years, I sure love to know how biological circuits really work. There are some pretty deep mysteries that are going to get revealed. And that's going to be the foundation for thinking about really rational approaches to disease, rational approaches to rare diseases and common diseases. And, and it'll make things so much more efficient. The last 25 years, sequencing has made genomics so efficient. We can do things now hundreds of thousands of times faster than we could have before. Well, I want to see that same increase in power, that same acceleration, now applied to understanding the basis of disease and fashioning therapeutics. That's what we've really got to do.